Richard Stallman, an American free software activist and programmer, most known as the GNU Project creator and founder of the Free Source Foundation, has now created a manual for us as a language introduction to GNU C, or the C programming language, as really a reference manual. So here is a message from Richard GNU C, language intro and reference manual, how awesome we can be learning. C alongside Richard Stallman. And if you're an NSA or FBI agent, make sure to read this portion here. But here it says, this is to announce the release of the GNU C language intro and reference manual. And we'll see this in a moment. This manual is intended for learning the C language if you know how to program in some other language. It also is a reference manual for GNU C. If there are any flaws, things are unclear or hard to understand, make sure to report. But let's dive into how to get our hands on the reference manual. If we click on this, I'll make sure to post a link in the description. We can check out how to clone the current repo down to our computer. We'll have to install a few things to actually run and create the documentation, but it won't be too bad. Hopefully it's available online here soon. There are plenty of GNU manuals online and GNU C has a few of them here. There is a reference manual for GNU C. So I'll post uh, one for this one as well. So I got Ubuntu spinned up here in the terminal. We're gonna need a few tools like Git. I don't currently have that. Uh, Make, we'll need that as well. So a couple packages I'll install real quick, necessary for compiling the proper documentation. So first I'll do sudo apt update and then install a few tools after I've updated my repos in order to successfully build and compile the manual as intended. I'll do sudo apt install. I'll need git to clone down things. I'll also need to build essential tools as well as text info. All right, and once I get those installed on my distro here, then I'll be able to clone down the repo. So I'll show you how that's done. Here it says getting a copy of the git repository. We just have to run this. So either copy and paste this in or just write it in yourself. I'm going to write it in. So git clone https git savannah.gnu.org and get again the c intro dash and dash ref dot git and that should clone the repo down and it sure did ls it's located right here in the home user directory for me and i'm going to change directories over into that now so if i do that now i can see i have a few files in here but notice there's a make file so let's check out the make file and see what that's all about i don't have vim so let me install that as well sudo apt install vim of course you can use any text editor that you want instead to check out that make file. So now I should be able to check out that make file. And inside the make file, we can see that there are various forms of make in here. So the one I'm most interested in is really, I'm just gonna do a make and let it uh, run through its own deal. So make, and it looks like I ran a few things including a compression. Now that I have that all made, I'm actually interested in this c.txt file. So what I notice is something doesn't quite properly convert whenever I try to do it through the make file itself. So I'm just going to actually compile this C text C file as something formatted in HTML. So I can do this by doing make info space dash dash HTML dash dash no split space dash O for an output file. We'll output it to whatever we want. Let's just call it c.html and we'll use the c.texi file in order to change that over to the HTML. We'll let things process here. And as soon as that's done, you should see the c.html file. Now use a file browser to get to that location and just launch the c.html file. And we should finally have our compiled documentation available to us in a browser. Congratulations, you've successfully compiled the GNU C language manual. So if we go down, we can look at the table of contents and much, much more, all sorts of information about C and then various different examples and then the start of the actual body of the whole document. So if we check out something, let's see the function headers, function bodies, example, a complete program, storage and data, integers, lexical, syntax, arithmetic, assignment expressions, execution control expressions, binary operator, grammar, order of execution, primitive data types, constants, type size pointers, structures, arrays, enumeration types, defining type def names, statements, variables, type qualifiers, function, compatible types, type conversion, scope, pre-processing, integer in depth, floating point in depth, compilation, 
directing compilation, and a few other things in the appendix. If you want a shorter list of the table of contents, that's right after the main table of contents. So again, this one's called the GNU C language manual. They do have the GNU C reference manual online, but that's different from the one we just looked at and compiled. And of course, if you successfully installed everything, you should be able to also actually run these scripts if you create them yourself. So for example, I'm just going to create a file called uh, main.c, and then in here, I'm gonna paste the code, and let's try to build this code by doing GCC, since we're using GNU tools, main.c, and I'll put it to main.out. And that's my bad, because I actually copied that directly and did not, let's see, formatting came out wrong a little bit. I actually have to find, to find a main function in here in order to run this correctly. So int main, and I'll just return zero and call the function itself to run it. So the fib and some number, let's just do 100. And also while I'm at it, let me just print something out because it's not printing anything. So we'll do printf and actually call the fib sequence in here. So it'll return something and display it to us. I think the formatting here is dash, we'll want D, put that in quotes. That should probably be enough to print something out. Let's try it. And sure enough, it did print something out 55 right here. Very well, you're on your way to learning C with Richard Stallman. Help contribute by letting GNU know about any problems with this manual and how they can make it better. I assume some of this manual references other manuals from GNU and their contributors. Overall, really cool to see. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.